House of Only Cans, that's your only man. So sit back, relax, that's the only plan. Grab yourself a Guinness or Peroni, man. Welcome to the show, this is Only Cans. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Alright lads, what's the crack? Welcome back to Only Cans, this is episode 4. I'm your host, Dara Curran, aka The Guinness Guru. This week, I have a very special guest. I feel like... I feel like every time you have a guest, you have to kind of have to say a very special guest. Because you can't say, like, you can't go three weeks in a row with saying very special guest and then, like, the fourth week say just guest. So, very special guest, anyway. <laughs> Robert Grace from Kilkenny. Massive hit in the charts last year called Fake Fine. You definitely know from the radio. Fun fact Rob, Dermo Kennedy, and Nyler Horan. The only three, not just male, the only three solo artists to make it into the Irish top 50 or top 20 last year. So let me rephrase that again. Not rephrase it, I'm just going to repeat myself. Robert Grace, Nyler Horan, Dermo Kennedy, the only three solo artists to make it into the Irish top 20 in 2020. I think that's pretty impressive. Um... So yeah, he's basically as good as Niall Horn and Dermot Kennedy. So go on, Rob. Good lad. Fair fucks to you. So yeah, went down to Kilkenny. This was recorded back in December. I went down with my friend Beggs, Connor Begley. Hopefully you'll be seeing a bit more of him um, in in future episodes. This was actually the first episode we ever shot. Just with things, how things panned out, we just decided to use it as this episode. But... So, yeah, Beggs features in this. You don't see his face, but he. We, I wanted to do a segment called Beggs the Question because I'm a genius. You know, his name is Beggs, Beggs the Question. So, Beggs features a little bit in this. I suppose you could call me, I'm doing air quotes. You could call me, you could call him, I'm doing air quotes, my producer. <laughs> he, he joined me, he dropped me down. Um, he, he watched the camera, he watched the audio, stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully he'll be around in the future to, to help me again. So, anyway. Went down to Kilkenny in December. It was good crack. And yeah, met Rob. And I suppose this is what happened. I'll stop shining on now. Right after, I plugged the shit out of the Patreon. Again, I want to say a massive thing. This is the thing with Patreon, lads. I know it's a bit like uh, rolling the eyes whenever he brings up the Patreon. But listen, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is, mate. Love Ireland, innit? So if you've already subscribed to the Patreon, massive thanks fair play it really genuinely means a lot and if you're considering it five euro a month you get an extra podcast every week last podcast last week's podcast was with colsey uh guru ogs will know who colsey was he was was is as if he's dead colsey basically started guru with me since kind of went our separate ways but i i go i divulge into the kind of reasons why we Split up, man. Nah, the white white cozy left, uh, walked away, and I'm walking away. Jesus, must have had a coffee. White cozy walked away. That's on the Patreon from last week. There'll be another new episode up next week. But yeah, Patreon five quid a month. If if you have it, if you don't, that's grand. But if you have five quid a month and you want to support myself, the Guinness Guru, the Only Cans Podcast, um, you get an extra podcast called Extra Cans. And there will be, I can confirm, there will be merch within the next, I'm going to say, three weeks. I'm calling it, no going back. Merch within the next three weeks, if you're subscribed to the Patreon, is 15% off. whoop the fucking do <laughs> So we get into it. Myself, Only Cans, Robert Grace, episode four. Here you go. And they're here to see Robert Grace, the Kilkenny singer, who is taking the music world by storm with his breakout single, Fake Fine. And make- Bad luck if you're someone like me Got your head above water but you still can't even breathe It's a pandemic, it's a fucking disease And it's following me Everything looks better with a view Why you always in the mood? To make your daughter cry I apologize a trillion times Sorry Miss Jackson I am for real Never meant to make your daughter cry Apologize a trillion times Alright boy How are you doing? I thought you were a Ferrari Ah no, no. <laughs> Too fun on cars, yeah anyway 
I like that. I'm gonna sit up the stage and over there for practice. It did, like, Why are you a lot of times I'll, I'll it sounds do perfect like I oh, know see like I I always fix shit afterwards yeah. regardless of what yeah. I do is Robert how you doing? Not too bad. I'm like calling you Rob. You can call me whatever whatever you want. We are in the middle of, when I tell you we're in the middle of bump fuck nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are we, Rob? We're in a. Oh, you place. can't give away the location. Oh, oh yeah, maybe not. Uh, we're in Kilkenny. Just give it that. We're, we're in, in Kilkenny, yeah. Because yeah. this, by the time this comes out, sure, you'll probably be even bigger. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, first things first. Yes, you always don't deceive you. We are drinking Carlsberg. So I'll leave that up to Rob. To I said, Rob, I'm kind of thinking like, all right, he knows me as the Guinness Guru, and he knew me before this. So I was like, Rob, what, what do you? What do you drink? Thinking he's just going to say Guinness, and said, "I'm a Carlsberg man." So, Rob, what's the, what's wrong with you, basically? It's uh, I have a very uh, weak stomach, basically, and Carlsberg just agree <laughs> agrees with me. Uh, I can't drink. I drank Guinness, I'd say, twice in my life, and both times I was like extremely it. sick after it. But you drank it? Oh, I drank. No, I got like I was like ma- like mouldy, like, yeah, and I just ended up puking everywhere. And I was like, I can't drink Guinness anymore because we're the same age, both old lads, but the. The granddads of TikTok, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Jeez, we're definitely in the. Yeah, because like, like I, I have topics here, but I'm going off script already. Fuck it, it's grand. Um, in terms of TikTok, like, I, I feel it's good because we can kind of relate. You've doubled the followers I have at this current moment. I've I just about to hit three hundred thousand. You're on six seven. What are you on? Six what, six six hundred and twenty. Six hundred twenty thousand, yeah, and it's it. it's like, and I was gonna say for this bit. We're going to talk about TikTok, but you can't use the words mad or crazy. Okay. 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 So what do you think of TikTok? <laughs> interesting. It's very <laughs> interesting. It's just, I, at the start, I was like, oh, yeah, it's great. And, and then the more you hear about it, like, it's it's so fucking weird. Yeah, it's... Go on. <laughs> it's crazy, well, mate. <laughs> uh, it, it's just hard to understand, isn't it, really? Like, it's it, you just don't know. Like, I remember going on to it at the start thinking, like, it was crazy and like I remember my feed knows me now but I don't know if you were the same like when I first went on to like all I was seeing was like 13 year olds dancing and I was like trying my best like like how do I get rid of yeah th- that You're side not like I, I want to see like fluffy dogs and like yeah. music and yeah because it's Guinness not even guru and, you know. ah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even like you go on it's like a, a for you do I go onto the for you page do I follow people like I'm following like six people on it I actually only started following you this morning so I was like I better fucking start. <laughs> I didn't even realize because you wouldn't even be on there no, to follow people no. like that you're only on there and I would nearly say like without TikTok would you agree without TikTok you wouldn't have gotten signed oh I'd, I'd, like I'd say like it's definitely played a huge part yeah. like a huge part it's, it's kind of the main reason that fake fine kind of took off in the beginning which mm. got like the label's attention so yeah. like it was key really like yeah unbelievable right Rob you're on the Late Late Show and nothing made me happier than when you were singing along and I heard you go I'm a fuck up and you said fuck up and I was like that's mad they let him say fuck up and then it's (laughs) it's um, it's a fucking dizzy I was like go on son (laughs) because like I'm here thinking surely like not Tubbs he doesn't give a shit I'd say but surely I would have thought someone over the process would have been like oh no you can't curse so was that a thing or did you yeah, just like go for it and they didn't say anything I I basically asked I was like here can I can I curse like can I do the, the proper version and they yeah. were like uh, at first I, my management were like no no it's the clean squeaky clean like because there's a clean version and then there's a squeaky clean version yeah. that has no like king out of the fucking you know and then like it has no shit or it doesn't have cocaine in it you know that one is cocaine. squeaky clean uh, but they were like then they got back and they were like no it's after it's after 10 o'clock like you can oh yeah you can like I think so that was the management's decision or no no like the late late show oh like man. they said that it was fine to, to cut yeah. I don't think they realised fully how many like yeah. times I was going to say it like because the amount of complaints that they got are you serious oh, after yeah it was <laughs> crazy like and the amount of people like tweeting going like oh, I can't believe he just cursed on the late yeah. show or like tweeting I uh, presume in a good way though yeah there was one per- person I thought was hilarious like com- or wrote to me or commented on something saying like that it was the first time in history that his father turned off the late late show because <laughs> and, he, and he was like thank you so much <laughs> That's, you know, yeah, are you so for like, real yeah yeah it's like I just some think people were like appalled by it and then I just think in this day and age like if you're gonna get offended by someone singing a song with fucking it like what are you yeah, doing yeah and I'm not like it's not like I'm it's, it's descriptive you know what I mean like, yeah I, I'm not like it's not offensive it definitely really, adds to like, it and a lot yeah. of the time cursing it does because I was trying to change it I remember when we were doing it I was trying to change it because and I was trying to change the clean version I was trying to figure out like what can I put there and it was just nothing like nothing that I put in 
made it made it sound worse really but like I so I ended up just cutting it for the clean version and on the radio what is it it just goes it's pandemic is <coughs> disease is that it disease or it's a skin disease one that's so shy crack like yeah yeah so right. it has like a cough or something in there like I, I threw in something like a or a sneeze or something in the gap just oh, so right. that it's like you know, fart yeah fart <laughs> uh, these days it's cocaine and a nose ring you've got the nose ring I, d- I don't do cocaine no. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't ask I definitely. I, I didn't. I ask. couldn't. I can. Be, I can. I like to be relaxed. Now I don't. I would not like. I don't need to be wound up. That's. And then, but when like with that lyric, was there any like, anyone you know being like, what story would you sing about cocaine, or was it just? It, no to one? be fair, like, no. I mean, it was fair because like, I, I know a lot of people that would, like, do, it was that. Yeah, everyone is really like, like, like you know. Is, though, I, I'm sick is. of people fucking yeah, pussy more, around it. Like, I'm not here going. I do cocaine, but I just mean. People are at it. Yeah. Ah, like yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. But there's loads of people. Like, I mean, like I was trying to tell this to my mother like a f- few weeks ago, and she just couldn't. She couldn't believe me, mm. really. And I was trying to tell her that, like, more like your best friend down there could be doing cocaine exactly, at the weekend. Yeah. I was just trying to say, like, yeah. it's it's like it's so common. Like, you go out anywhere, you will yeah. there's be someone you know that. And you, it's you know. and it's it's mad because like the fucking young lads are like I I don't think when. Like we used to hang around, we still do. But when we hung around together, don't hang around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was. I didn't hear of any of that until I went no. to New Zealand, came home at like twenty four, and well, everyone was doing. I worked in the bars for years. Yeah. When I started working at sixteen in bars. It was never there. Yeah. Never there. Yeah, yeah. There's like maybe like one out of fifty people might have it. Yeah. And yeah, that's bar, it. It's and now it's thirty five out of fifty. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like even when I like when we were younger, I mean. Like I just knew there was a couple. I knew a few people that would smoke like weed or hash or something like that. Like that was yeah. like that was yeah. the the tip. And they were like, mad cunts. Yeah, you're like Jesus yeah. Christ, you know. Yeah. Like it's. And I remember like, no, Christmas, so Christmas Eve, fucking, where you're just going out for a few pints and seeing like there's like five urinals free and all the young lads are just waiting for the cube. Yeah, like know, fucking hell, lads, we're going some direction here. It's I, like yeah, I remember being at. A, <clears throat> I don't ask me why I was there. We went out. We, we went out. Cocaine bar. Friends, I was con- cocaine <laughs> bar, uh, but we went out just for a few drinks like on a Friday or something and, and went into this place like it was really close to the house I used to live in and it was like an 18th down in there or something like that and I was like oh Jesus I was like can we stay we're staying here for like one one drink and yeah. we're going like I can't hack that like uh, and then went into the bathroom literally as you said like urinals free and just all, a load of young lads like itching at themselves to get into the bathroom like you know Unreal. and all of them walking up going <laughs> like yeah. this like it's not making it half obvious like once yeah. afternoon like you know fucking gas yeah. Um so we better talk about some actual music stuff I suppose <laughs> uh, you signed with Sony um, what was the crack with that did they did they know they were just signing like a fucking culture from the middle of nowhere yeah. or did they just like, like how how much of you did they know or did you it was like because you said in another thing Fake Fine came out 10 days later got the first offer first offer like they can't really know who you are they're just like we gotta yeah. get this guy yeah it was like basically we went I went on like a meeting with, with like three different labels or like it was two at the start and then another one came in at the end but they were just too too late because you know I wasn't I didn't want to be like even though it took like two two or maybe three weeks to sign the deal it felt like years and I was terrified that like one of them was going to like yeah. be like no or but something did you have management oh yeah no yeah, yeah you had management lawyer and, the whole and were you like releasing fake fine thinking because you've obviously had other, other songs like yeah were you releasing fake fine going it's going to be the one this yes, is a fucking I, tune it's, here. It's I had that feeling, right? And then I released a song, and like everything, everything is to do with Spotify now. So I was thinking, you know, it has to make like new music Friday. You're kind of putting these things okay. in your head, like yeah, you know, yeah. it has to get playlisted on Spotify yeah. because that's like I think every artist at the moment is like that. Like Spotify is so big and it mm. has such a pull, and um, and it didn't mm. get playlisted on New Music Friday. And I was like, I remember like I stayed up like at twelve o'clock, like it wasn't that late, but like I was absolutely dev. I know when you have a three year old, right, and yeah, pregnant wife. Enough. Uh, but uh, I was absolutely devastated. Like I was yeah. so thick. I was like, "That's it." No, just I was didn't. Even, I wanted to forget about it nearly. And yeah, then I, I like that day. Then was Friday. I stuck up the TikTok version, and it just fucking took off. Yeah. And then people went straight over Spotify and started streaming it, and I had like quarter of a million. And well, I like that because it's at least you put up. It was yeah. you putting up. It's not like these random songs like I know that fucking Justin Bieber Sean Kingston song came into the charts recently eeny yeah. meeny miny because someone started using it at least you yeah. were the one who put it up yeah 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 and then so right so what was the first like like it comes out it gets into the charts 
you're obviously thinking, right, doing all right here. Then is your management like, we've got offers? Are they yeah, getting in touch? Or it's all through the management. You were saying yeah, to me before, yeah. you you just wake up and oh, you're yeah. just told, you're doing this today. That's the best grand. way because like I, there's so many things going on that like if I looked at it, I'm just better off knowing on the morning. Or Do you get another one? Oh no, thanks William. That's, that's nearly gone. Yeah, yeah. get into your head. Well, Sanitize uh, that can there, good man. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was John Dorian tree tap rule. Yeah, but <laughs> I always, I always tap it. I'm just like terrified of it. Fucking. I don't want to spill all over your fucking keyboard here. You're looking at it nervously here, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> right, what were you saying there, Rob? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What happened? I got, I got a phone call. Like, and I was just a normal. I can't. Remember, I think it was a Friday as well, and I got a phone call saying that, like, oh here, oh my manager, my manager texts me. Well, I have three managers. <laughs> so like, I have like, like two of them are part of the same kind of company, and one has been my manager for for like years and then the other one yeah. the other kind of two came in in the last year so and uh uh yeah i got a phone or i got a text saying like uh have some news rob uh call you in five and i was thinking to myself Someone like said i got so excited first i was like oh my god like what is it like so and then it then five minutes came and he didn't ring me yet and, I was, and, then, I, and, I, and then I was like sitting there going like that's ah, bad news isn't he he didn't say it was good news he just said I have news for you and then I was like going like Some, ah fuck like something's wrong now what's after happening and I was like freaking out and then he was like ten minutes before he rang me and I like nearly oh, crying going like so oh, I would hate I, I thought like something terrible was happening like yeah. I, I don't know and then he rang me and he said like that uh, that basically I, I was at one of the labels anyway I had uh, there was in interest in wanting to license the song just the one song like that was the initial thing like they wanted to license it and release it through them um, which just means that they're I get like it's, I'm releasing one song with this label you know okay. I'm not signed to them yeah fair enough yeah uh, that the, the head of this label rang like so it wasn't an a &R, it was like the head of the label yeah. had rang and been like love this song want to uh, and it like my managers and everyone just took it up as like they are oh, licensed and I think that's well, what like, he wants are they going back and looking at your other songs or are they just like this one song is going to make us a lot of money let's get this guy yeah, like that was that's, that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like so that label had interest and another label came on and had interest then and it turned from being a licensing deal to a record deal. Like w first of all we had a I just presumed it was a license licensing deal and we I had a meeting with this with the label and this head of the label as well and his team, like a, a Zoom meeting and I went on to it and I was like shitting myself going like hard oh, you wanna ask me? I was like, Jeez, trying to prepare. But were they like American? No, this was the first label were were English that that like got interested. And, and could he understand you? I well, I slowed it <laughs> How's down. How's it going, by? I slowed it down for him. I just I tried to <laughs> Some like, joan, isn't tried it? to pull it back. And to be fair, I didn't actually even talk much because yeah, they just basically enough. were oh, yeah. super nice to me for the mm -hmm. whole. And I was sitting there going like, "Why are like what's going on? Like this? they're not asking me any questions." Because they knew like, they had like competition. They're just I think that's what. And yeah. then like all of a sudden we realized at the end of the meeting that it was a record deal that they wanted to do. And then I was like, I nearly fuck. I oh, you're freaked you out. Didn't know at all. No, I thought it was like the one song they wanted yeah. then it's a record deal and I was like wait like that's a fuck like that's an album and yeah. uh, I would start to freak out and actually just after that call I remember walking downstairs and I, I was in my bare feet and I walked in a fresh dog shit that he left at the bottom of the stairs oh, and I felt like nice. play, like play doh up through my toes and instantly yeah. brought me back down to earth then and, uh, <laughs> but uh, that is glad yeah and but like before that was there any like so is like your first offer is from or whatever like Sony Warner whoever like were you getting Smaller, like, is there these? Is there smaller companies that were offering you stuff before? Like, no, I mean, it's it was very rare. What's it was, yeah, I, definitely, hundred percent. Like, I, I would say, like, I'm, I like, you know, though, like, I'm one of those people that I would hear about and be like, that fucking cunt. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah. I, like, I hate that lad. You know, that's what I'd be like. I'm if you were uh, like a small time uh, yeah, singer, yeah, like, yeah. that's what I would have been thinking. You know, like, yeah. like, and then, uh, yeah, it's just mad. It just kind of happened so, so quick, and like, it's like a fairy tale, really. Like, <laughs> fuck me. Um, next segment. Well, first segment is going to be so. This is Beggs, as we've introduced. How you doing? Very smart here. Listen to this, Rob. Begs the question. Next segment is basically Beggs gets to ask you a question or whatever. He's a bit of a fucking weirdo, so I don't know what he's going to come out with. Anything. I don't know what it is, so take it away, Beggs, and I'll give before, you the mic. Before I do anything, actually, because uh, I have been doing a lot of creeping, uh, just for this to act professional. But I've been creeping through your Instagram anyway, and I brought a few snacks. Oh, you and I, I've noticed that you do like these. I, I like uh, ready salted anything. Is my like. Uh, well, there you have it now. I got you some more things that you do. Uh, like. You're splot. Oh, 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 uh, you see that on camera now. Yeah, yeah. we're talking. Ah, yeah, like do you like? Do you like? See that on the camera? Dip dabs. Yeah. The classic. 
And I actually went on, this is a real deep one, because even Darcy fucking put in these. <laughs> do you like yeah, dip dabs? I don't know, do you even like them? Do I fucking love them. I don't know if these are the right ones. Instagram. Close, no, close. They're right. Uh, we couldn't get the five set ones. We couldn't get the five. Yeah, no, they're, they're, you know, they're, fairly, they're fairly. <laughs> I'd give them a solid 6 out of 10 for these ones. Uh, I'd give them 10 out of 10 for these and a solid 9 out of 10 for these. I didn't know the ones you liked, I just couldn't find them. That's not the question. I was just buttering you up so I can slate you after these photos I'm about to show you. Oh, jeez. Right, so you're a bit of a Jimbo fan. Everyone's going to see this photo anyway. No, I don't show that photo. That's the one that I just. I'm probably going to delete that from Instagram just now because, like. Um, oh, lovely. Workout time, smiley workout face. Workout time, oh, smiley God. face. So we can, we can workout routine, Rob? Nice, there's no workout routine <laughs> anymore. Here, here's a good one. Right, you're at, a, you're at a gaff party or you're having a few drinks and I guess it's one o'clock in the morning and someone whips out a guitar. So, what would be the song that you're going to play if it wasn't yours? Just to get the place on wheels. What do you want to play just to fucking impress everyone? And oh, jeez. Uh, I'll do... Actually, you know what? This is what I do. Because everyone... Everyone... Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. In Ireland, anyway. Uh... Madam Mandes wedding on a church on Thomas Street. <laughs> looking at her bridesmaid and she's looking back at me. Yeah. When the service ends, I'll ask her if she wants a lift back to the hotel. And if it goes well, finger and a shift. She said, finger! Fitzy. <laughs> they offered me a spin. <laughs> and I have a Honda, so I might just go with him. Darren Gibby said he'd bring me in a Subaru. So what the fuck would make you think I'd wanna go with you? I said, book your Honda Civic, I've a horse outside. And fuck your Subaru, I have a horse outside. And fuck your Mitsubishi, I've a horse outside. If you're looking for a ride, I've a horse outside. Are you sick of saying fake fine? Or are you... I'm singing it. Singing it, saying it, or are you just... Remind yourself, this is what. Not obviously, you've done years of work, but like one thing can get you to that next level. Is there any sense of Jesus? Is this all they want to fucking talk about, or is it just ride the wave? I mean, there's no. I mean, I'm actually. I, I lo I'll always love the song. I think simply because it's just the reason. Yeah. Everything started, but <laughs> I think I just I don't really mind because I feel like I have so many like more good songs yeah. coming that like I really have faith that they will do well. You know, I think they're they're probably the best songs I've ever kind of made. Yeah, so but even far the thing well. you put on TikTok, you were like, "Can anyone relate?" And it was something about being a psycho or something. But I was like, "That sounds like it's very sounded very like weekendy kind yeah, of." Yeah, like, yeah. Like, is that a sign of things to come? Yeah, like that's that's one. Of, like, I have, I have lo I mean, I have loads of songs. Like, I mean, at the moment, I have probably like I have to have fifteen for the album, and then they choose ten, and I'd say. Yeah. Like at the moment, <coughs> and I still have a lot. I have songs that aren't finished yet, and everything. But at the moment, I have like eleven that I, I'm loving. Yeah. So, and now I still have fuckloads of writing sessions and and songs that need to be finished in the yeah. meantime. But and you know, like your say say that song, so that TikTok, for instance, was like speaking about kind of what was it like? I'm a maybe you're kind of going after a girl. Maybe she doesn't like you yeah. as much and stuff. But like you're in a super stable. I presume <laughs> relationship. <laughs> oh, I yeah, no, it is. Are you? Is there? Is there? And I want you to be honest. Is there some sort of element where you can't just sing about being with the love of your life? Everything's fine. You need to also switch it up. Or like, can you honestly say that song is from a personal experience? Like uh, the way I, I'd like to do at the moment. Well, I went through a patch of literally. I'll write anything. It doesn't matter if it relates to me. If it's nothing to do yeah. with me. Because it's like acting. I always yeah, say, like just because it, someone's though. singing a song, like doesn't mean that's it's, it. it's about their life. And like it can still be, like you can make a song personal. And I mean, I, I like a lot of these new ideas. Even that song stems from uh, a personal experience. That's where the start happened, and then yeah. like where the details go could be anywhere would you say like that you're singing and I'm sure there's going to be different types of songs in the album if it's about like you chasing a girl and say you're Mrs I'm sh obviously saying oh. whatever but is she kind of like story with this tune or is she just like that's Rob he's just doing his music thing that's fine or is there any yeah, sort of uh, like, like what's going on with the tune Rob <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you after someone yeah, else I, I, yeah so like at the like it's so weird she's actually very good like it's more, mainly like she listens to a song and she might joke about something for yeah. a second but like usually she'll I just play her song she go like oh that's class or like oh no that's don't you and it's her opinion like it definitely it definitely is like I do feel a lot better if she likes something yeah. because just doesn't like because with me I could do something in here and I'd be like this is like amazing and yeah. then 
I could play it to people and they're like, oh, no, it's, no, it's cool, yeah. And then, oh, like, yeah. I'll listen to it the next day and I'll be like, oh, fuck, I can't believe I just played that to... Like, you I get see. lost in the moment of, like, doing it and you're like, I don't this think is there's, so good. I think there's nothing more awkward than playing something for someone else and they're kind of like... For me, it's more so... I think it's funny, even though I don't think I'm super funny, but you're like, this is a funny video. And they're yeah, just yeah. like, the most you get is like a... <laughs> and you're going, right. Uh, like, yeah, you do you get that when you're when you're playing a, for, a song for someone and I'd say it's it's more like the head bop is the solid sign that they're liking it it's just yeah, one yeah. of these oh yeah there's a lot of times where I just don't look at them I just let it play oh, and yeah. I like look down and I just like don't take it in until like <laughs> or else I'll just play them like a verse in the chorus because I hate yeah. like I just know from being like if you're someone's playing your song sometimes and yeah. they're like and you just like you listen to it and you get the gist of the song and like yeah. you're like you can stop it now but you don't want to be ignorant to be like St- yeah, yeah turn it Simon off Simon Cowell yeah you know but so I, like, I usually just play a verse in the course and like yeah. turn it off then but I'd be very much and I don't know how other people's minds think but like I'm music buff love music but I rarely even like my favourite artist I rarely hear a song for the first time and, and go I like that I have to hear maybe once in a once a year you'll hear a song and right away you'll have to tune yeah. even your song it's just initially you're just like <clears throat> ah yeah grand radio tune whatever you don't know it's an Irish person whatever I probably heard it fucking 40, 50 times before I knew who you were stuff like yeah, that yeah. so I I think the whole like sitting down playing music for someone it must be just kind of like terrifying because you probably it's nearly like I oh, know it, it like tr- a couple more times and yeah. it'll be better like just or you're like no it's coming it's waiting now it's yeah. nearly there it's near, yeah. and then it comes and they're like oh that was it <laughs> yeah this, with the song obviously Fake Fine like how I think you you said you wrote it be obviously like the, the fucking pandemic line is is for me is the the line that's that sticks in everyone's head that's yeah yeah that's not why it's such a good song but it's so memorable yeah yeah but you didn't even have that line no you start writing it in january or was yeah it yeah no january yeah, january yeah. you said like take us through obviously i don't want to fucking bring the mood down but like no no like I'm, you're, i know you're used to talking about it but yeah, yeah how bad how how bad mentally were you like yeah, I mean, I mean, look, there's people that are way worse. I think, like, that's the thing. Like, I mean, I wasn't. There's people that, like, have nothing that, like, would have, like, lost their houses or a lot. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not, like, one of those. But I think everything is very personal. Like, it's all about, you know, even though you hear about something, you could, you can still, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, yeah. no matter how bad it is, like, uh, it's, anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me just go on. <laughs> just go, just go like, Rob. Let me just go back and say, like, yeah, I was a bad. I came in, basically, New Year's, the day before New Year's Eve, I had to, like, pay a bill. And it was, like it was like 600 quid and that was nearly all the money I had like well it was even more than the money I had and then so like it was New Year's Eve then obviously didn't do anything uh, and then I woke up uh, the 1st of January obviously with not, like minus in my bank account and then my son was like like he had a vomiting bug and I, f- I hate when he's sick like I can't I can't yeah. function at all it's the weirdest thing I just can't like I can't work at all it's just my brain is constantly worried like and then uh, yeah it was my birthday on the 4th of January and then on the 5th of January my grandmother died yeah I knew that too. and like uh, yeah it was just like it didn't really like she was a massive part in our family like she would have been you know there's my grandfather passed away years years and years ago but like she was 89 I think she would have been 90 in I think it was February yeah it was just it was just fucking mad and like uh, as I said there's like 13 she had 13 children 12 yeah 13 children and so like what was the first because for me it doesn't no I'm not a songwriter but I wouldn't think if, if someone very close to me died, the first thing I'm going to do is pen to paper. No. But that might, is that your no, natural? No, no, like it, it was... Like how, how, how in the shits were you when, or, or were you, was it kind of a, a reflection a week later and you were like, not a week, you're not over it in a week, but no, it wasn't the next day? Like, was no, it? it was it was probably, like it was in the middle of February, I'd say, okay. when I actually wrote it. And it's, that's whenever, when I started to just get down about about everything like as yeah. in I think when you're because I think you started I started to think about ah, I should have went up to my grandmother more like I should have been you know I should have made more of an effort and that's when you're starting you're starting to realise like <coughs> that like what you should have done and those times your parents like my parents were like here you may call in there and you know like not not that you know but like just saying like here you haven't called up in a little while you go in and yeah. you know and I didn't you know and it's all those parts that you're starting to kind of play on your mind and then like apart from that like there, there was other stuff going on and like music wasn't nothing was really happening I was like wondering am I wasting my life like I'm you know 27 yeah. you know I literally I don't have any hobbies I did I jo- dropped out of college to do music uh, you know I don't I literally don't have anything else like, so I was like fucking unbelievable I love the story so much but I was, I was literally I was I was didn't know what to do I didn't and then I was like 
thinking like, oh, geez, like that, you know, my wife and my son would be fucking, not, not in a better off without me as if like, I was going to kill myself around, but I mean like, yeah. that I was like, you should like, you should just, I should, should I leave? Should mm. they leave? Like, because yeah. I'm just like, like I'm not a good person to be around, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just got to a, a point where I was, just really didn't know what to do. And I was just like lying in bed and I just, the first kind of line came into my head and then I went upstairs and I actually have the recording of like the first, I just played it on a ukulele, like the first. Do you have it there? Uh, I mean, I could try and find it, like. Life is Armageddon, I've got clinical depression Cause my mind's an imperfectionist Fall asleep, wait, I don't wanna wake up But I never wanna take another pill to make me fake Fine, I'll get some help I sit down with the therapist who try to teach me lessons But I forget just what the question is That was all I had that was And... Was that written or did that just come out? I did. Head? I didn't write. No, I just sang it. I just sang it down. That was the twenty seventh of February when it was recorded. But like, that didn't. You weren't just press and play and just. No, I like, out I, your I, mouth. like I had a like I was in bed and I just started like I had this like line in my head and I didn't necessarily so have a way of singing you're it. You're all just. It's all just in your head. Yeah. And then yeah. you just whip out the phone. There's no. I know a lot of people don't write and they put voice notes. Oh, like, like that's so eight lines. Yeah. No. It's, I. I. I definitely. I see. The yeah. end of that, I kind of made up. I don't know. I can't remember what part, but there's, there's like some bit near the end where I just kind of kept singing. Like the yeah. first, like few lines, or I had, I had in my head, and then yeah. I just kind of continued singing. And then I just, when I was done, then I wrote down the lyrics and yeah. I listened back and I was like, what did I say? And so I just wrote down everything. And then so I had it, yeah. and then I like saved that and I sent, I like saved it to my Dropbox in case. Yeah. And then I lost just like, it. like, so there, what uh, there, but but I forget just what the qu- but then obviously you're just singing normally. So like, where does this whole this is where I'm trying to get into my, inside the mind of a songwriter. It's like, but I forget just what the question. Oh, like, well, tell you why do you, how does that come to your mind? That, that, like, that obviously it, works perfectly, but it's like, it's just odd. It's weird, yeah. but it's great. But how the hell does that come to your head? It's, it's uh, like just the way I sang it. Like, is that what you mean? The sound of it? Like, or the, well, like it's I different. Think. That's just, you just go, but I forget. Just yeah, like, yeah. In the song, it's like, but I forget. Just yeah, like see, I, I was singing, I was singing it. I was doing a, t- a vocal take and I like, I met, I fucked up like, the line before it and so I was just messing and I just sang like but if I get whatever I sang oh, it so weird fuck me. and then I just pitched it I was like oh I might use that and so yeah. I just got it and I like fucked so with the uh, fluke like yeah just I didn't I, I was just like I thought it was cool after I yeah. listened back to it and I was like hey I could probably do something with that so yeah. I just like cut it and but that's nearly like that and the fucking pandemic that there are yeah, yeah. two parts in the song that I, you know what's coming you're like and I literally be like but I forget just yeah. <laughs> that's mad There's so many people that say that to me yeah. so, and when you're doing when I was doing it I wasn't thinking that at yeah. all I was just I get a lot of the stuff that happens to me is literally pure yeah. accident and like just say, messing look, if you're like, in here fucking 12, 14 hours a day and you're recording everything like shite's just gonna yeah, some that's good it. stuff like that's why I'd, I'd always say that like if just like whatever you do sometimes you can mess you could do like do a bad take and like say something funny in it or just yeah. make a sound yeah. whatever it is yeah. and like I I could I'll keep that until I'm done and I'd be like where can mm. I throw that in yeah. just for like because it adds to it and it's like uh, you know it adds to the story and it's just like it's a, that extra bit of personality yeah. kind of in the song. Hey for a can. so then Rob if you're you know you're kind of a young lad and the guitar is there and you're just trying to swoon a young one I love that word <laughs> <laughs> what's a what's a t- what's a song that's going to come out uh, I I usually I would go with uh, do you know Damien Rice yeah. he has a song I don't know if it, like usually see no one really knows the song which makes it even better because sometimes I could have oh, pulled it off as like it. it's oh I wrote this you know oh, what I mean for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> Damien Rice is at the party Damien, Damien Rice is there going like <laughs> that's my song <laughs> do you know I, I don't know ok I'm a gorgeous young one ok ready ready <laughs> Get ready to be <laughs> swooned. I'll be on the floor. Swan. 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 Okay. Get ready to be swanned. Uh, it's like we might kiss. Oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> we are alone. Oh well. Nobody's watching. We might take it home. Jesus. My knees are weak. Don't stop. <laughs> That's unreal. We might make out if nobody's there. It's not that we're scared. It's just that it's okay. <laughs> Do you have a drunk story? I'm that person, like in in your class in school, that would always something embarrassing would happen. To. I was never unpopular or anything like that embarrassing stuff used to always happen to me like I mean 
on the drink or just in general? Just in general. Right. And then on the drink, then I just used because I was like in school, I was like super quiet. Like I never didn't yeah. say a word. Like, but if you got me drunk, like I used to go f- crazy. So yeah. I was uh, not crazy in like starting fights. I just used to be like mental. In other Messy ways. or just like, like I I don't know like I, you'd think I would never be like, like that. the like mad the, lad who takes a traffic cone to nah, please a hard nah, man. No, nah, nah, I'd never <laughs> take a traffic cone. I probably tried once or twice yeah. to take a traffic cone, but like no, nah, not 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 like that. But just like having the crack and being like yeah. actually being funny and <clears throat> chatting to people. Whereas like in school, I was like yeah, fucking like never said a word. Like you know, like there, I have one story that's like probably I've I've, I've loads of stories, but I'll go with this one. Uh, if you want another one, I can give you another one. But uh, I was. I, I was probably underage. Uh, That's fine, Rob. Yeah. That happens. People it does. People do cocaine and people are underage. <laughs> Not Rob. <laughs> he didn't do any of them. <laughs> no, never. He hasn't. This is his first beer ever. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you were underage. We won't say I, that you were 11. No, I wasn't 11. I was, <laughs> if I, would, you, can I, would I give him age? I can give him yeah, age. I was 16. And yeah, I was 16. And there was... Dropped uh, by Sony. The, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just maybe I'll go back. No, I, uh, yeah, there was, uh, there was like a house party on Halloween. Uh, and it was like a dress people dressed up I dressed up as a ninja cool. and I thought I was deadly and I had a sword and everything so I like went around like beating shit out of people for the night um, but my friend was 18 well he's my cousin and he bought the drink but we didn't have loads of money and we wanted to get really we wanted to be able to get really drunk so we got what did we get we got like a nagging of vodka each and we got a big bottle of Jägermeister nice so we had we had like a pint of Jägermeister each. So no beers or anything. No, close. no, Jesus. not even the mixer. We couldn't even. Anyway, we uh, so we drank off the naggins before we went in, which is just like what you, as you do when you're younger. Though I mean, you probably did. Have you done that before? No, no. You, no yeah, I didn't it. drink until I was eighteen. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> you can't. If I did that now, I'd absolutely I'd puke everywhere. Oh, but yeah, anyway. yeah, you genuinely would. Oh, you get I that drippy oh, mouth. Oh, even think about it. Like yeah. back then, you just drink it off. And, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and then we had a pint of Jägermeister each. So we were just drinking that, and like I was pint of Jaeger, a pint of by Jaeger itself. by itself, yeah. Just going around, just the party. going around. That's what I had. That was my drink. I've heard some shit. I've never heard something like that. Yeah, and was it, you we were to a bit of Red Bull or something. No, I just, I just like that's this is what happened. Anyway, I drank. So it was like halfway through the night, and I was I had about that much left, and so I drank it off, and uh, I was absolutely horrendously drunk, uh, and I just I, I was like, oh, I need to piss. So I stood in line for the toilet. There was only one toilet. And I went in there anyway, and I locked the door, and I was there, and I was like, went to piss, and I was like, Jesus, I don't feel good. And then I went over to the the sink, and I was like, looking at myself, and I was like, Jesus, yeah, I don't, I don't feel good. And as I was saying it, I just puked all over the mirror, all oh, down into the sink, fuck. and I was like, the sink started to fill up, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to move. So I puked into the bat. D- didn't think I didn't never didn't puke once in the toilet. Puked all <laughs> over the bat, all over the, the shower curtain. And anyway, I, when I was finished, I was there going like. How how am I going to work this now? How am I going to get like? And I was like, I can't go back out into the hall like and and have everyone uh, see what I'm after doing. And then I was like, I really don't want to clean it up because I'll probably get sick again. Yeah. And I was like, I looked over and saw the window, and I was like, No way! I think I could climb out. The no way! <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I got I got up. I climbed out the window. I absolutely poleaxed myself on the other side. First like, or second floor? No, I was on the luckily on the ground floor. Yeah. Still locked. Yeah, the doors still locked. So what happened? What I did, I thought this was the great, was the best idea ever. So like, I was thinking, no one will remember. But keep in mind, pint of Jaeger and a negative vodka deep. So yeah. that's all right. Uh, so yeah, what I what I thought was the best thing to do, not leave and like or just go, was to pretend like it, I never went into the toilet in the first place and just get back in line and be like, <laughs> what's just going on? Back this in. <laughs> Smell the shit there. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was standing in line and lads were like banging on the door and I was like. What? It's am bursting for it. like what's going on? Like, oh bursting my for it. God. And like uh and st- I do you know I think like I still don't know if they knew it was me, but I never well, they will know. They know now, but uh and it so never no one was like you were just in there. No, there was there was conspiracy theories and I was like that was no nah, no nah, I didn't get sick, sure you fuck I didn't get sick in there. No, nah, like you know, it wasn't that me. They pretty. were like people someone was saying they saw you going. I was like, I was in the line, like I didn't he saw me there, like you so know you're I, off. I didn't have any sick on me Until sure. now. <laughs> yeah, that was that was one of them plenty more but that was uh, that is fucking gas that was one of the funny Never. ones well it's gas because you're you're like pretty much equally as good a singer as you were this time last year but you're in such a better position now it's yeah. just mad how it works isn't it yeah. it's just a lot of time it takes the world takes yeah. them to catch up like that's it like it's all you don't have to does, really get better like, it always I always say this like when you hear this before like everyone's like oh it just takes one song and you're like fuck off with your fucking yeah, and one you're like, song I don't want one song yeah, I want like, an album yeah and it's like but even at that you're thinking like you're not like what do you mean take like 
you know, takes one song. And then, like, obviously, I'm in that situation where it's like, oh, you, I get you now. It, yeah, does, it yeah. does take one song. Well, speaking of that yeah. one song, you better do it for us, Rob, or someone you'll go mad at us. <laughs> make, make sure we have this song. We're fucking laughing. Robert Grace. Yeah. Fake fine. I mean, just what a fucking belter of a tune. Take it away, Rob. Might get a harmony in there as well. <laughs> Why not? 27. Life is Armageddon, I've got clinical depression Cause my mind's an imperfectionist I fall asleep, wait, I don't wanna wake up But I never wanna take another pill to make me fake fine I'll get some help, sit down with my therapist to will try to teach me lessons But I forget just what the question is Cause I'm a fuck up, stuck here with my hands cuffed Behind my back, trying to keep myself intact I'm feeling great like Carol Baskin Hope you know it's all in that Cause it's so much easier to Light. Two, three. Well, bad luck if you're someone like me Got your head above water but you still can't even breathe It's a pandemic, it's a fucking disease And it's following me well, Bad luck if you're someone like me Got your head above water but you still can't even breathe It's a pandemic, it's a fucking disease And it's following me Keep it lit, Rob, don't stop now had your problems, the bottom of the bottle You forget it all tonight, but it's just twice as bad tomorrow Cause when you're sober, you just wanna stay at home But all your friends, they call you up and they convince you to go out again These days it's cocaine and a nose yep. ring But your fake lips are stuck in And all your friends think they're the shit, they're no different Cause none of them ever feel better They do so much drugs and they probably regret it And they act all cool as if they have the realest But we know that they just don't deal with their feelings It's so much easier to lie, lie Bad luck if you're someone like me Got your head above water but you still can't even breathe It's a pandemic, it's a fucking disease And it's following me Bad luck if you're someone like me Got your head above water but you still can't even breathe It's a pandemic, it's a fucking disease And it's following me Shame about the harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Robert fucking Grace, that's all we need. Thanks for watching Only Cans. We'll be back soon. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was fucking class. Right, lads, that was Robert Grace. Unbelievable episode. If I do say so myself, I genuinely really enjoyed it. Great crack going down to Kenny. Uh, it, was, it was great. And thanks a million again to Begs. And hopefully we'll have Begs back in the future. So again, lads, if you enjoyed the podcast and you want more, you want extra, even extra, extra cans you could say extra cans podcast is up every week on patreon patreon.com forward slash the guinness guru sell 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 out um yeah five or a month extra podcast every week called extra cans 15 percent off merch which will be available within the next three weeks i've called it no going back hopefully they don't fuck me over thank you very much for watching if you're listening thank you very much for listening this has been Only Cans episode 4. I have been your host, Dara Curran, aka the Guinness Guru, and we will see you next week. Good luck. Salon, lads.